What's going on, everybody? Stewie Griffin here, and how about we watch a death battle? Dante versus Bayonetta. Now, before we get started, I'm going to say that I honestly don't know jack shit about Bayonetta. So I'm very much going in blind about her abilities and such, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Dante, on the other hand, I absolutely love him. Hell, I even like the one that was released by Ninja Theory recently. Uh, you know the DMC one where everybody thinks he's kind of a douche, but I actually find him rather sexy. But, uh, yeah, to quote the devilishly handsome Dante, this party's getting crazy. Let's rock! I always love that music. For some action heroes, it's not enough to just save the world. They've got to look good doing it. Dante, Dante the Devil looks good. Hunter. And Bayonetta, the Umbra Witch. He's whiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Dante's gonna kick your ass! Take a walk down Slum Avenue and you'll find all sorts of hangouts for the scum of the underworld. The Bullseye Bar, a random strip club, <laughs> and even strip a club. run-down service shop called Devil May Cry. Devil but May the services Cry, they're yes. selling aren't like washing your car or fixing your <laughs> plumbing. Oh no! Long as you got the cash, this shop specializes in delivering demonic beatdowns. Who's crazy enough to try making a living this way, you ask? His name is Dante. From the very beginning, Dante's life was always unusual. Born from the unholy union of a human mother and a demon father, Dante and his twin brother Virgil Virgil's had their first too. supernatural encounter at the young age of eight. Yeah, yeah see, see, his so demon dad about was that. a badass who single-handedly conquered the underworld and imprisoned its demon emperor, Mundus. But after dad died, Mundus' minions I've always brave enough to take Mundus, some revenge by slaughtering his family, leaving Dante an orphan. Bummer. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Happens. With his mother gone and his brother assumed dead, Dante was left with only one option. Become the ultimate demon hunter and perpetuate the cycle of vengeance. And kick the shit out this of everybody. This getting crazy. Let's rock. Oh, his, his radio's broken. That's unfortunate. Despite the dangerous nature of his occupation, Dante always maintains a carefree spirit while dispatching devils of the underworld. It's part of his charm. Hell, when you've got abilities like Dante's, why not be a little cocky? He's faster than the mortal eye can see, strong enough to grapple with the underworld's toughest demons, and straight up man enough to shake off yes, the after manly. the chest like every goddamn day. That's thanks to his regenerative ability. In fact, all of that is made possible due to his demonic heritage, and made even more deadly by his plethora of weapons. His favorites being his dual pistols and enormous sword. Like any proud weapon owner, he gives his tools of destruction pet names. His guns and yes, the they are. specialize yes. in long-range shots and rapid-fire barrages, respectively. These hand cannons are so powerful, they can each obliterate demons in a single shot. Damn! I think that looks super Fuck them up. Rebellion is a large magical sword given to him by his pops, which can cut any demon down to size in the blink of an eye. He's also got his brother's sword, Yamato, which I always can thought cut it was Yamato, but the Throughout his adventures, Dante also collected a wide assortment of additional weaponry called Devil Arms, physical manifestations of powerful demons he has defeated. Remember Mega Man? It, it's that, but on steroids. His armored Gilgamesh gauntlets increase his striking power, oh, letting shit. him shatter huge monoliths with a lethal one-inch punch. With Lucifer, the backpack, not the devil, Dante basically throws infinite lightsabers. He's also got I an love electric that guitar, weapon. which is literally electric. Ice-powered nunchucks, grenade launchers, shotguns, and I kid you not, a briefcase that can transform into 666. Yes, Pandora's box. Fuck yes. To a flying turret gun. Where does he possibly keep all this stuff? Really, really deep pockets. Yes, just like that. Or Deadpool. perhaps it's one of his styles, abilities he's also acquired from defeating demon bosses. With doppelganger style, he can duplicate himself. With trickster style, he can teleport instantly. With royal guard style, he becomes a nigh impervious dreadnought, and he can even slow down time with the quick Okay, style. that one I completely forgot about. On the rare occasion Dante feels he needs to get serious, he enters the Devil Trigger. Fuck yeah, Devil Trigger! Your bitches ain't ready! ...to unleash his true devil form. 
Devil Trigger dramatically increases his strength, speed, and healing power. And he can Fuck fly. yeah! Being so well armed, Dante is more than capable of handling entire hordes of demons on his own. Although this doesn't stop some of his allies from joining in from time to time. Oh, Trish, I this love her too. This Trish, a demon lady She's who occasionally fights alongside him, and in the happens to resemble part. his deceased mother. Talk about giving somebody an Oedipus complex. Oedipus hey, was the first motherfucker. Go If she's not directly related, she's safe to be dated. That explains Ooh, a lot. Boomstick, that's Luckily, gross. Luckily, and quite surprisingly, that avenue was never explored. Thank God. Dante is a walking, talking, feet-achieving machine. One time, after getting impaled by four demons at once, he pushed one so hard it exploded and dropped a ceiling fan on the other three. Oh, while eating a Dante slice of pizza. Dante loves his pizza. Oh, and when their friends showed up, he challenged them to a game of billiards. Damn! He won. Dante has run down the side of a building so fast he caught fire, similar to a spacecraft re-entering the atmosphere at approximately 17,000 miles Holy per hour. Holy shit! And he's even capable nice. of taking out others just as overpowered as himself. Like his brother Virgil, who was not dead, but evil. He stopped a colossal punch from this titanic monster without breaking a sweat, shrugged off bombardment by meteors, and eventually avenged his mother by defeating the demon lord Mundus. Mundus? In Whatever. space. You may be asking yourself, can anything stop this guy? Fuck no, nothing yes, can stop Dante. Dante does have a limit to how much punishment he can take, but if there's anything that could take him down, it's his own cocky attitude. In the words of the ancient Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu, there is no greater danger than underestimating your opponent. That rule doesn't apply to Dante! Pretty sure there's no greater danger than telling a woman those brands do in fact make her ass look fat. <laughs> and jackpot. So sexy! Alright, let, let's check out this chick's abilities. From the Angels of Paradiso to the Demons of Inferno, there is a name feared by both the light and the dark, and her name is Bayonetta. Okay, now give me a reason to give a fuck. To any normal guy walking down the street, she may look like your average seven foot tall Good lord, she's seven Amazon foot seven? Fashion sense. Holy but shit! Bayonetta is actually one of the last Umbra witches, 200 plus a clan pounds? of mystics what, what? allied Whoa. with demon kind. Named Cereza upon birth, she spent her early life growing up an outcast due to her parents being from rival clans. Her father, a Lumen Sage, and her mother, an Umbro Witch. See, the sages and witches had one rule to follow. Don't make babies with the opposite clan because, according to prophecy, it would bring on the destruction of the universe. Well, that's really So, naturally, it was only a matter of time before somebody couldn't keep it in their pants. <sighs> Pulling out works every time. But the last time, Chris. you would know. With the pact now broken, war ensued between the two factions. In the end, only two witches survived, Cereza and her rival slash future friend, Jean. Hoping to prevent the apocalypse, Jean used a special dagger to seal away Cereza's memories and put her into a 500 year long coma. Well, that's convenient. When Cereza woke up from her epic power nap, she took on her new name, Bayonetta, and set out to find her lost memories. Luckily for her, she had just the right weapon for the job. Her hair! The fuck? As an Umbro witch, not only does her hair serve as her clothing... Which I'm having a really hard time deciding whether or not that's hot or just disgusting. I I'm gonna go with disgusting. She can also use it to summon the demon Madama Butterfly to aid her in battle. This technique, the Wicked Weaves, creates portals for the giant demon to deliver devastating punches and kicks. Bayonetta can also walk on walls and ceilings with witch walk, and even transform into animals to fly, run super fast, and dodge attacks. But her most useful technique is witch time. By slowing down time itself, Bayonetta can dodge practically anything while unleashing a barrage of attacks. Fucking cop out. basically a tall, sexy armory. She wields gauntlets called Durga, which attack with fire and electricity, a huge sight that rots the souls of its victims, and oh, a freaking shit. lightsaber called Pillow Talk. Oh, she has she a has lightsaber, a bow that's that cool. that fires poison arrows, a chainsaw made of dragon scales, a massive hammer that can cause earthquakes with every strike, and even ice skates, which attack with ice, obviously. Well, that's but a bit her redundant. most beloved weapons are her four pistol set called Love is Blue. Rather uh, than swap between is she them a Dante like a normal person, She's she oh, she has somehow four of them. manages oh, okay. to wield all of them at once Holy by using shit. not only her hands, but also her feet. Well, that's weird. How does that work? 
Does she have like some kind of weird thumbs on her ankles or something? Gross. Now we're gonna detract from the hotness factor just a bit. Oh my god! She's covered in hair and she uses her feet like hands. She's a monkey! Monkey witch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's glorious. I highly doubt that. She probably just uses some sort of magic. Speaking of magic, when Bayonetta wants to unleash her full potential, she triggers her Umbran Climax. <laughs> which increases her strength and lets her summon Madama Butterfly's full unrestrained power. When fully unleashed, Madama Butterfly can shatter huge meteors by headbutting them. Ah, uh, Climax. <laughs> by herself, Bayonetta has pulled off some impressive feats. She's strong enough to kick military jets into the air, headbutt skyscrapers across the city, and even throw satellites with her legs in outer space. Well, oh, shit. by the way, she can survive outer space. Using which time, she was able to defeat this thing in only a matter of real-time seconds. Even without which time, her reaction speed is astronomical. For example, when a Lumen Sage stopped time to position newly fired bullets about three feet behind her, she managed to not only turn and identify the incoming threat, but also dodge all 16 of them. Okay, that's Considering bullshit. Considering regular bullets travel around 2,500 feet per second, she must have pulled all that off in less than one thousandth of a second. Uh, okay. And there's that one time when she killed God. You know, by scissoring her hair with Jeans and punching the creator's soul across the entire solar system into the sun. Okay, obviously Bayonetta's feats and abilities are absolutely ridiculous, but she is sometimes rather inconsistent. Despite her reaction time, she's been caught off guard by enemies ranging from a half-god called Lobster, or something uh, like yeah, that, and lobster. even a plant monster that managed to grab her out of the air. But regardless of whatever weaknesses she may have, Bayonetta's achieved more than anyone could possibly imagine despite being 100% human. Oh, she's Wait, human? she is human? Dibs. Alright, let's dance, baby. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. It's time for a death battle! Yeah, pause. All right, before this gets underway, um, uh, having seen the analysis of, uh, you know, her abilities and such, I think Bayonetta may actually have a chance against Dante. I still don't think she's going to win, mind you, but uh, she does stand a chance. So let's get on with it. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. The son of Sparta. Another wandering lost soul, I see. Wow. Lost? Nah. I'm looking for something called a left eye. Care to give me a hand? Could be fun. <laughs> I see. But if you're looking for the left eye, that would either make you an angel. She's got the trigger happy. <laughs> Oh, you fucking got? Whoa. Oh, bit shit. No! Shit! Dante! No! Oh! Oh my god! What a disappointment. Yeah, I finish. seriously doubt that killed him, but uh. Yeah. See, exactly. It's not that difficult. Is that all you got? He can sister? withstand so much more than that. <laughs> yes. Ah, looks like you're more of a man than I thought. Yes, he's the manly moment. The Getsu Gatensho type ability, I love that. No touching. 
Oh, Quicksilver! Get fucking wrecked, bitch! What? Haven't used this in a while. Still got it. Your witch time means <laughs> jack shit! You ain't getting nothing! In the money. Fuck that bitch up with the chair! Get her! You're a naughty boy hitting a girl like that. You need to be taught a lesson. Is that a whip? Okay. Now this is what I'm talking about. If you like that, you're gonna love this. Uh oh, oh, oh shit. What's she, oh, what's she doing? What is she? Oh, what's that? Oh, my, oh. What the fuck? That's a handy boy. Phew! Your breath stinks! <laughs> Wreck it! This oh, is where she we managed to get a hit in. She's got first After blood, but you. uh... She... Oh shit, it's Trish! Dante! Are we doing two on two now? Is that what's happening? Oh, I, this is the first, everybody. This is the first. Uh, come on, Trish. You missed. Oh, don't be a baby. Let's finish her off. Oh, let's fucking wreck him. Cereza, having some guy to ride a sword's wreck. Get wrecked. This one handled. Wait, we're getting paid for this one, right? Come on. <laughs> Damn, go Trish! This is wrecking the shit out of the partner who's being up again. What's wrong? Can't keep up? Man, that is awful fucking Pandora's box! Oh yeah! Yeah! That's right, motherfucker! Get fucking right! Oh, the dogs are getting ugly. Bitches. Where did you get that outfit? A thrift store? You're one to talk. That color looks terrible. Don't insult, on you. Trish! Uh, bitch. You just fucking Trish. Wait. Best pay attention, boy. <laughs> Devil trigger. Yes. <laughs> you got nothing, bitch. What's what's she doing now? Pretty or not? What? Don't fuck with a witch. Oh shit. Yamato, yes, yes. Look at that style. No, that's not possible. Yes, the fuck it is. You fucking with Dante. Yes. Here we go. Oh. 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 Shit. Um. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. He takes some wishes, so it, it's fine. Bullseye. Say goodnight. Oh, yes. Yes. Do we fucking do it? How come I never meet any nice girls? That's why I only go after men. I mean, what? Worst date ever. Yeah, they even lost their friends. I think. What happened to Trish and John? Are they still fighting? Well, I'll show you how I think it went down in my new show, DBX. What's that? Wait, what? Did, did you actually do analysis on your own? <laughs> Hell no. I'm just gonna make them fight. Ugh, you would. And what actually matters, it's true that Bayonetta's satellite throwing feet trumps any and all of Dante's physical displays of strength. However, Dante edges out in every other category. His arsenal matched and exceeded Bayonetta's blow for blow. 
Hell, even a giant demon like Madama Butterfly is nothing new to this Demon Slayer for hire. But most of all, Bayonetta didn't have many ways to actually kill him. I mean, the dude shrugs off mortal wounds every day like they were nothing more than bug bites. Both could take a bullet, but unlike Dante, when Bayonetta's stabbed, it hurts. That's why avoiding attacks was her specialty. But she could only dodge for so long against somebody like Dante. Early in their careers, Dante and Virgil obliterated each and every raindrop within a 12-foot radius. Oh, I forgot about that a scene. Completely open space that was fucking in a cool. I remember that. Up to 30 sort raindrops of. can occupy that a really... cubic foot on average, meaning they destroyed 108,000 raindrops in less than a second. Holy shit! Without any extra abilities or styles. Even with Bayonetta's absurd reaction speed, Dante striking so much space in so little time far outclasses anything she has ever had to avoid. Of course, he's even fucking when she Dante. Tried avoiding him with which time Dante's Quicksilver even the playing field. Yep. Yep. Basically making it useless. Mm -hmm. It was just a matter of time before Bayonetta suffered the fatal blow. Well, you know what they say, hair today, gone tomorrow. The winner is Dante. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next time on Death Battle. Oh, Bowser. Okay. Depending on who he's fighting, I may or may not give a shit about, you know, reacting to that one because, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of Bowser. And we're gonna cut it there. All right, now to dissect this. Uh, like I said at the beginning, uh, I, I knew Dante was going to win. I mean, I, I suppose I'm a, a little bit biased because I actually knew his character and loved everything he's ever done and all the games that he's ever been in. But uh, I get to give it up to Bayonetta. She fought a good fight, but in the end, she couldn't handle uh, Dante's style. The, the, he was just too damn styling. Uh, so uh. Yeah, she put up a good fight, but you can't, she just couldn't handle it. So, um, until next time, people, this is Stewie Griffin, and, uh, peace out! Ha 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 ha! K-bye!